Hello and welcome to the Exanti Diet Expert channel once again. Today is day five of the Exanti September challenge in which we're attempting to stay away from the scales for a month in order to prove a theory that it will lead to increased weight loss. Uh, there are several viewers doing the same thing and I hope you're all keeping well and staying strong. I thought in this edition of the Exanti Diet Expert we would talk about what happens to you when you begin your Exanti journey and what to expect. The Exanti diet is, make no mistake, a severe diet. 800 calories a day is not enough to survive on. It's only because we have fat stores that prevent damage. So these are some of the more common questions and the answers as far as I've been able to find out from my research. Please understand that I am no qualified dietitian. This vlog is intended to generate a discussion amongst people that are on a weight loss journey uh, sharing similar experiences and as much as is possible please seek advice from a professional not a bloke off YouTube. Uh, that said we'll move on. So one, uh, what's the scientific basis behind the diet? Well the, the Exanti diet is a trigger. Uh, by reducing drastically your usual supply of calories primarily those derived from carbohydrates which are sugars it forces your body to look for alternative sources of energy. In our cases, our bodies have been preparing themselves for just this eventuality. They've been storing away excess calories in the form of glycogen, which is the basis of glucose, uh, and that's stored in our fat cells. Glucose is your body's go-to energy source. Uh, normally, your body would find enough in the food and drink that you consume. On the Exanti diet, the amount that you need each day is severely lacking. But your liver has been sending glycogen into your fat cells for a long, long time. Now that time's finally arrived for those energy cells to be used, your body is going to have to flip the switch. And that not only takes a little time, but it can have some unpleasant side effects. Rest assured that this is only a temporary state, and it's because uh, you'll have a low availability of carbohydrates to fuel your brain muscles and other organs while the changeover happens. And at the same time, your liver isn't quite fully capable of ketone production, uh, nor are you capable of fully utilising ketone bodies. Uh, symptoms will likely subside once you become more adapted to the ketogenic diet, but don't give up. This stage will pass by and you will then be in a physiological state called ketosis. In short, you will have converted your body to a fat-burning monster. So, what symptoms should you expect? Uh, fatigue, low energy during the day, trouble sleeping at night, brain fog, uh, a little bit of muscle cramping, possibly. Uh, definitely a craving for sugar or carbohydrates. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, constipation and uh, conversely diarrhea. Uh, you can have reduced uh, exercise performance or poor recovery from any exercise that you're taking. Uh, moodiness and irritability, which in my case is difficult to discern from the other. Uh, headaches and lovely bad breath needs to be remembered that when you fail to keep to your diet, your body may well come back out of its ketogenic state and begin to rely on the carbs that you've begun to eat again. If it does, it may be necessary to go through the switchover period all over again. So I'd suggest that it might be better to eat additional protein if you must, <clears throat> but sticking to this diet rigidly will produce the best results. And the good news is, that once your body is in ketosis, the hunger pangs and the cravings will stop. Any sense of craving that you feel will be purely psychological and not an actual need for nutrition. But, uh, after all, uh, if you're like me, you're carrying around a life belt sized energy store with you 24 uh, seven. So why is switching on ketosis such a difficult thing to achieve? Well, the answer to that is you are in effect changing gear from a forward gear into reverse and you're doing it forcefully. Your body has spent years or even decades being comfortably overfed. It's controlled any excess energy consumption and converted it into glycogen and shoved it into your fat cells. Your blood sugar is being controlled by your pancreas redlining its production of insulin, stripping dangerous levels of sugar out of your bloodstream and shoving it into your fat cells. In some cases, this has led to type 2 diabetes, where either the insulin produ produced is, is defective 
or that the body refuses to heed the warning that insulin gives and doesn't send the excess blood sugar back to the liver for storage in fat cells, hence the medication to assist your insulin. Or that the form of sugar, and I'm talking about fructose and corn syrup here, uh, is much, much less easy for your body to metabolise, resulting in a log jam of carbs waiting to be processed. This more complex energy source is everywhere in processed food, and one of these days I'll let you know my thoughts about fructose. But now you want it to reverse itself and you'd like that to happen immediately so that you can lose loads of weight and go hot air ballooning or whatever it is they show people doing on those TV com commercials. Well, bad luck. It, it just doesn't work that way. But if you can fight this battle, you will have come a long way towards winning the whole war. Um, now, how do you maintain a state of ketosis? Well, th this is pretty simple because... As long as your body can find a source of energy, as in your fat cells, as long as you don't ingest a simpler to access source of energy, your body will continually uh, melt away your fat reserves until otherwise informed. So once you're in ketosis, you may wish to increase your levels of physical activity. This would also help you to further boost your metabolic rate, uh, burning your fat even faster. And to explain, if your BMR, the base me uh, metabolic rate, and the bare minimum for a person to perform the most basic of functions is around 2,000 calories, and you're only getting 800 from your anti diet, there's a deficit of 1,200 calories a day. Now, a pound of fat has approximately 3,500 calories in it. So three days of your 1,200 calorie a day deficit will burn one pound of fat. Uh, increase your level of physical activity, and you'll burn the fat quicker still. But be very careful not to overdo it, particularly if you're taking diabetes medication. Um, remember this, I am a taxi driver. I'm not qualified to tell you how to lose weight. I'm just explaining things as per my understanding of them from my research. You should speak with your doctor or a dietitian. But how would you know uh, that you're in ketosis? Well, easy. The pounds are falling off and you've none of the earlier symptoms, including none of the cravings. You're losing weight, you're not hungry, it's a miracle. So in short, and in accordance with the previous blogs, get plenty of sleep so as to restore the balance of those two important hormones, leptin, which makes you feel full, and ghrelin, which makes you feel hungry. Increased rep respiration while on ketosis will enable more of the waste product of all this fat burning to escape. Try to increase your levels of physical activity, but only moderately, because of what I was saying earlier on. If you're on medication, it can uh, have some severe side effects. Enroll in a support group such as Club Exanti so you can share your own findings and experiences and get advice from others. You'll know what to expect and you'll be able to reassure others about what to expect themselves. It's vital that we don't feel alone through this. We already know that we have weaknesses, so it's best that we help one another if possible. That's why I'm blogging. Anyway, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've gained something from it. Now you know the drill as far as clicking on the like buttons so you don't need me to repeat them every time. But I hope you have enjoyed the video. Take good care of yourselves and I hope to read your comments in the section below. Thanks very much for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.